everyone. Good morning. This is Deborah here, and I got an email this morning from one of my GOATS 365 members, and um, I wanted to share this with you because this is only February the 6th, and this is already the fifth or sixth time that I have received a question like this. Um, and that is that somebody is worried that her goat is going to go into labor soon, even though the goat is only at, um, she's about two weeks before her due date. She's due the 16th to the 21st. So um, she's about 10 to 14 days early. Now I have actually had a kid um, or two kids. I had twins born once at 136 days and they survived, but um, one of them, took two days to be able to stand because she was so premature. The other one could stand in about six hours. So basically this was a couple bottle babies. They never would have survived on their own. This was also a first time mom. And so she did not even have enough milk to cover the bottom of, her, of the bucket. Um, if it was a mom who had kitted before, you would definitely see more milk production. Um, so if a, if a doe was an experienced mom, you know, she might be able to make enough milk at that point. And in fact, one of the things the person emailed this morning is that the dose udder is looking pretty big. So the two things that she's worried about is number one, it looks like the goat has dropped, um, <clears throat> meaning that the kids have fallen down. Normally, you know, when a goat is pregnant, they, my daughter used to say they look like a tabletop because their belly comes out like really high um, and it's very rounded. And then as they get closer, um, the kids fall lower and then so they can look kind of hollow um, behind the ribs um, on the abdomen. And the thing about that is that that is the least, um, re, um, it, it just doesn't, it's not a good indicator of like when a goat's going to go into labor. I've ha I have had goats looking like that a couple weeks before they were going to kid. Um, and I've had other goats that, you know, they were just hours away before that happened. So there's really no solid correlation between when the kids drop or when the belly drops and when the goat goes into labor. The thing about the udder is that it's really subjective. Um, in my kidding course, I show um, videos of like goats leading up to kidding. And so you see like, well, this is what this goat looks like a week before she's kidding. And whoa, this udder is pretty big. Um, but then you see her like hours before kidding. And that's what I call the wow udder. Cause you're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I walk out there in the morning and, you know, see the goats udder and I'm in shock because it's so big. Um, because it's gotten so much bigger just overnight. Um, and so, the utter, you know, since that's subjective, that's just really hard to know um, whether like, well, is it going to get any bigger or not? Um, so again, not super reliable. The thing that is reliable are checking the tail ligaments. Now, the tricky thing about checking tail ligaments is that everybody, <laughs> now I should say everybody, there's a few people who know what they are. But 95% of people on social media think that the, the muscles are the ligaments. If anybody tells you, oh, her ligaments are gone, I can wrap my fingers around the tail head. Or if they tell you, my goats lost their ligaments two weeks before they kitted. Those are not ligaments, those are muscles. Um, I learned this because I had a couple of teenage daughters who were very anxious to prove mom wrong all the time. And so back in the early days, in the early 2000s, we got it wrong all the time too. You know, we would be saying, oh my gosh, her ligaments are gone and she's not due for two weeks. And we would go into the Yahoo groups, which was the thing back then and say, hey, our goat lost her ligaments two weeks before kidding. Is that normal? And other people would go, oh yeah, my goat did too. Well, as, as my daughters got more experience, it's a little embarrassing to say my teenage daughters got this before I did. Um, but as my daughters got more experienced, I would come inside and say, so and so's ligaments are gone. And then one of them would go out and go, oh, mom, they are not gone. Her ligaments are still there. You're just feeling the muscles. And so I would go back out and I would check again. And then I realized the ligaments. Now, again, I have a video 
of this in my um, kidding course where I, well, lots of videos, like there's one video devoted to tail ligaments. And I show you how I can wrap my fingers around the tail head of a goat. And then I show you where the ligaments are um, because the ligaments are like pencils. They are not the muscles, the muscles. Yeah. For, a, especially for an experienced doe, a doe that's kidded before a lot of times those muscles will go a couple weeks and that doesn't mean anything. So like, you should not be freaking out that the goat's going to go into labor because the muscles are softer a couple weeks ahead of time, because that's pretty normal. Um, but the ligaments themselves do not go away until 24 to 12 hours before the goat actually kids. And I mean, I am telling you, this is what they feel like. Um, this goes from the spine to the pin bone and it's nowhere close where this attaches to the spine is nowhere close to the tail head. So that's why being able to wrap your fingers around the tail head means absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, so do not get excited when you can do that. Um, you move when you can do that, like move your hands up the spine and then you're going to run into something that feels like a pencil. Um, if she's two weeks from kidding, and then you're going to, you're going to feel that. Um, now what if a goat, and, and then the other thing that I always tell people when people are worried, like my goat isn't due for two weeks. Um, the other thing I always tell people is that if your goat does go into premature labor two weeks early, there is nothing you can do about it. Um, you know, I know with humans, if you are, you know, at risk of premature labor, there's all kinds of things that we do. That doesn't happen in the goat world. Um, number one, if a goat is going to go into labor, there's a reason for it. Um, it could be that the kids have died already. Um, and if you are seeing a lot of goats going into premature labor, that's a pretty big red flag that you have a nutritional problem. Um, if it's just a one off, um, like the goat that I had who kitted at 36 days, she was a um, yearling first freshener. The poor doe was at the absolute bottom of the pecking order. Um, the other goats were just beating the snot out of her all the time. Um, and in fact, my daughter came in yelling at me because she went out to milk and then she comes in yelling at me that, um, why didn't you tell me that she was due? And I'm like, she's not due for until, you know, week after next. Um, and so we go running out there and like, as soon as I walked up to the, um, to the pen, I see like she is standing there and another goat slam. She's pushing, standing up, pushing and another goat slammed into her while she was pushing. Um, I mean, that is how low on the uh, pecking order this poor little goat was. And um, actually, after she gave birth, I wound up selling her with a kid to a place that had no goats at all so that she could be at the top of the pecking order on her new farm. Um, as much as I wanted to keep her, I just really felt sorry for her because the other goats were beating her up so much. And that is the only time that has ever happened uh, since we started raising goats in 2002. I've never had a goat that was just so picked on by the other goats when she was, especially you don't see that when a goat is born into a herd. Um, but anyway, that's the only reason it happened was because of trauma. So trauma can cause um, early labor. There are also infectious causes. So if you have a goat that gives birth early to kids, be sure um, I would, you know, save those kids um, and the placenta, um, especially if you've got other goats too soon, you might, if you have multiple goats um, kidding early, all of a sudden it, there could be an infectious cause. Um, and then also there's the nutritional cause. This is, this is stuff I can, I go into more um, in like my nutrition course and my kidding course um, about like possibly getting the liver tested of, of a kid born prematurely to see if there was a nutritional deficiency there. Um, you would need more, um, a bigger workup. Like if you have multiple kid, goats giving birth early, I've got a podcast episode on infectious causes of abortion in goats which goes into this more uh, in more depth. So you could also listen to that. Um, so if you have any questions, be sure to post in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Have a great day. And I hope everyone's kidding season goes great this year.